Hello, and my name is Dave Vandermeer, and I work with Word and Deed Ministries, and we're here to take a few minutes to talk with each other about the country of Haiti. Haiti is roughly 700 miles off the coast of Florida and 50 miles off the coast of Cuba here. It is the second largest island uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, it shares its island with the Dominican Republic. Uh, the island was split up at one time to the French one-third side, which would have been Haiti, and the Spanish two-thirds of the Dominican Republic. Christopher Columbus discovered Haiti and renamed the island of Hispanola. And at that time, there was about one million Tiano Indians living on the island. But uh, even though there was good relations with the Indians and the explorers at first, eventually the Indians were put into mines and worked on plantations and um, European diseases, which they did not have an immunity for, ended up wiping out the Indian population. And that took about a hundred years. African slaves were sent to work on these plantations and mines. Sugar plantations thrived at the time. Coffee and cotton were a few other items that uh, were grown during this time period as well. But in 1791, uh, there was a rebellion. Uh, slaves went up into the mountains and uh, performed a voodoo ceremony which basically sealed their resistance to the French colonists. And after the ceremony was over, the slaves started burning the plantations and killing the owners. And called the Bookman Rebellion because Duddy Bookman was the leader. And he was captured. And what the French did to prove to the slaves that uh, the voodoo ceremony did not have its power is they displayed the dead body. Uh, after he was captured and killed. But eventually in 1804, Haiti gained its independence from France after 13 years of different rebellions. Uh, and this statue is a representation of what those slaves did for Haiti to get its independence. The conch shell uh, being blown by the, the slave here is to call other slaves into rebellion. And if you see in the bottom left corner, the foot, if you notice the foot is still in chains and then in the right hand uh, there's the machete that uh, represents the fighting that the slaves did uh, to get their freedom. Uh, during this time period from 1804 to 9 though, uh, Haiti, even though it is a republic, has had its president or leader ousted nine different times and four of them by military coups. So it has not been a country of political stability uh, in these last 200 years. Now, Haiti has gorgeous natural beauty. It was called the Pearl of the Antilles just because it was such a special, beautiful place. Uh, a few facts, though, about Haiti. It roughly has about 11 million people. Its capital is Port-au-Prince. Uh, the vast majority of the population is black. Uh, 95 percent. It has two official languages, both French and Creole. Uh, life expectancy in Haiti is about 62 years, and the official religion is Roman Catholic. But there are other facts about Haiti that unfortunately shows a picture of what daily life is for the people. Uh, they are the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, half the un people are unemployed, a little less than a third of the population does not have enough food to eat on a daily basis. Only about half of the population can read. Uh, almost two-thirds of the students drop out of school before sixth grade. And two -thirds, about two-thirds of the population live on less than a few dollars a day. Roman Catholicism is the official religion, and it's considered 80% of its population, 16% Protestants, which really took off uh, in the 1990s, uh, the Protestants church there. But 50%, and this is the, uh, the really bad portion of it, is uh, practices voodoo. And voodoo is considered by many to be the national religion of Haiti. So what do voodoo beliefs have? It originated in West Africa, coming over with the slaves. 
and it's ancestral worship. Each family has its own spirit, which are called Lua. Uh, the families must bring offerings to these spirits for protection. They usually bring food or drink or other types of items. The spirits are anthropomorphic. That means they, they are described as if they've had a body. And they have an identity that goes back to their families. And the Lua can be good or evil or demanding. Uh, they show their displeasure based on uh, sicknesses or bad things that happen to you, uh, unfortunate circumstances. So the Lua must be unhappy with you. And they can appear to you in dreams or in trances. And if it's in a trance, it can take over your body. Voodoo's believe that one can be both a Voodoo's and a Catholic, and that is what we call syncretism, was when you take uh, two different belief systems and you try to join them together. Um, but Protestants do not accept that idea. But what has been the impact of Voodoo on the people, the culture, the society? Well, it's, it's a very superstitious society uh, because they have these Voodoo rituals that cause that. There's a lot of fear. And why fear? Because people could put a curse on them. People keep insults and grudges for a long time, which again causes revenge. And if they're going to get revenge, there's not trust among people. And people are dishonest with each other. And it really just destroys their society and culture. Well, there's a community in Port-au-Prince called Dalmas. Uh, which we have a partner and you can see where it's located by the pink dot and the picture below shows the community that it's in a lot closer <laughs> So this is the school back in January 2010 uh, of our partner there in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And this is what happened on January 12, 2010. If you notice, uh, there's a lot of cracks, but all of a sudden there's no first floor. Um, the, the building was totally destroyed. There was a major earthquake that hit in 2010. Uh, in the country, 230,000 people died. Nobody was in the school at the time because there was a sporting event going on in the back. Uh, a few people related to the school were in other buildings and passed away. But millions more were even affected. Uh, people had to have limbs amputated uh, just for survival. So this all just created more poverty uh, for a country that was poverty ridden even to begin with. So the new Christian school, I say new because it's a new building, uh, even though the school continued, has been built. Uh, and the, I love that they are considered to be hope in the heart of Haiti, as we have seen the neighborhood and the impact of voodoo that it has. But their their theme verse is, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And if you notice in the one picture, we uh, think of education and, and, and their learning as we would think in North America. But for a lot of the children, the, the best meal they get uh, of the day um, is at school. So this is a, a short little video given description about the school. My name is Randy Lauder and uh, my role at Adoration Christian School is that I'm, I'm the director there. I oversee the center and the school and uh, and work with all the principals and the teachers in, uh, in setting up the school and helping the school run. We have about 415 students at Adoration currently um, ranging from starting at kindergarten going up to grade 13. And we also have uh, a special needs section where we have about 32 students in our in special needs. Why is it possible to own? Why get 15 years? Math, math, my mom is a French. So I play film, say football. I'm concerned about education, please. To avoid the school. We want to serve the Lord. Uh, we want to um, help our staff, our teachers, to teach in a Christian perspective uh, so that uh, uh, they may be an example for the students as they are serving the Lord. 
at the board, we want to inspire uh, students uh, so that uh, they may grow uh, spiritually, socially, academically, and that they may make an impact on their community, on their church, and on their whole country eventually for the glory of Jesus Christ. So, Haiti, brokenness, unemployment, instability in the government, and corruption, poor housing, malnutrition. We, we've been, talked about the voodoo and what it does to the society. But here we have Adoration Christian Center uh, there in that community. And they're there uh, to be an impact, right, as was talked about, for the glory of Jesus Christ to change their community. And we know that only true change is going to come by people coming to know the Lord. And one of the ways that uh, our partners doing that is uh, through the school and the community. Uh, there's also a church that meets on the school grounds uh, that we are very happy about. So please stay connected and informed. We hope you enjoyed uh, these few minutes that we talked about uh, Haiti and that uh, we pray that uh, you will remember them in your prayers. So thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.